Okay, we're gonna do a static load test today. I'm finishing up this rod build. I probably haven't covered every little thing that I should have covered on it. I've hit the high spots. I've tried to be as thorough as I could, but if I film every single second of every single part of this rod build, it'd probably be three to five hours long. So I can't really do probably five or six hours long. So I can't do that, but I have done a static load test. I'm gonna show you what that's all about, and I'll be explaining that right now. So y'all stay tuned. I'm at the next step now. I finished the decorative wrap. It came out a little shorter than I wanted because this is my first guide and the labels that are for the rod go in here and they are about four and a quarter inches. Well, the foot of that guide goes to right there. Then you need, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so, three sixteenths in front of that to wrap that guide. So I had to cut this just a little short. It's still about eight, and a, eight inches. And I like for them to be about nine and a half, nine or 10. And that's gonna be the, the um, winding check. I'll do a ramp there for uh, the epoxy ramp. This is the reel going on this. It's a Fluger reel. And I would guess, there's not really any nomenclature on it to tell me I would guess that's about a size 5,000, 5,500, somewhere in that range. So I went to the Angler's Resource website and I've got the layout for the guides. And this is exactly what it called for. And I'm doing what they call a static load test. It's a load with no real, no real load under it, just enough to show you how the line's gonna lay in the guides. I've got these things attached. This is such a, a big rod in diameter that I'm going to, I've had to attach these with some wire ties and I've got some, some of the smallest wire ties I could find just for this. They work real good. You can see that line follows pretty close to where we want it to go. And some of the things I look for, this is a medium heavy, moderate fast. And that bend in this rod is pretty pronounced right there. My line's slipping a little bit, but I've got a, a guide right in where it bends the most, right in here. Um, I may slide that back just a hair or slide this one up just a hair because I like for it to be right in the middle of that. But other than that, it looks pretty good comes down, you can't follow the rod exactly naturally or you'd have a, you know, you'd have a reel or a guide every couple of inches. So I'm gonna get this down off of this. Like I said, I may make a little adjustment right in those, this one or two in here, but I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna start wrapping these, these guides. 